Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you're doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our 10th lesson on a given form 4 mathematics topic called differentiation. So we are looking at our 17th example, which is a past KCC question tested in 205, paper 2, question number 17. It reads that a curve is represented by the function y is equals to a third x cubed plus x squared minus 3x plus 2. But of the question, we are told to find a dy dx, which is essentially the gradient function. So, of course, to get a dy dx, we are going to differentiate uh, the given equation of y. So, I differentiate the first part. Of course, the 3 will pre-multiply with the coefficient. So, that I end up with 3 uh, multiplied by uh, a third x to the power of 3. Then I subtract 1 from the power. I differentiate the second uh, term. The 2 will pre-multiply the coefficient. So I'll have plus 2 x to the power of 2. I subtract 1 from the power. The third uh, term, it means it was uh, x power 1. So the 1 will pre-multiply the coefficient. So we'll have negative 3 uh, multiplied by 1 x to the power of 1 minus 1. Then this one means it was x power 0. So the 0 will pre-multiply the coefficient. So we'll have a 2 multiplied by 0 x to the power of 0 minus 1. So of course the 3 uh, will cancel out. Therefore our dy dx will be equal to, we remain with um, x to the power of 2, that is uh, 3 minus 1, we'll get 2, then plus uh, 2 x to the power of 1, then minus uh, 3 x to the power of 0, then of course the last term will disintegrate to 0 because 0 multiplied by anything will give us 0. Now remember, x power 0 is 1. Therefore, it means that our dy dx will be given by x squared, then plus uh, 2x, then of course minus uh, 3. Because a uh, 1 multiplied by negative 3, we are simply going to get a uh, negative 3. Therefore, this is our gradient function or the derivative uh, dy dx. Then we move to part B of the question, whereby we are being told to determine the values of y at the turning points. Now we know that at the turning point, at the turning uh, point, at the turning uh, points, the derivative dy dx must always be equal to zero. Therefore, we'll say that at the turning point, dy dx, which we have already uh, gotten in part A as uh, x squared, then plus 2x, then minus 3, uh, this must be equal to 0. So on picking uh, the second part of the equation, clearly this is a quadratic uh, equation. So we'll end up with um, x squared, then plus uh, 2x minus 3 being equal to 0, which is a quadratic in the form ax squared, then plus uh, bx, then plus c is equal to 0. So clearly, the value of a, the coefficient here will be 1, the value of a will be 1, uh, the value of b uh, will be positive 2, then the value of c will be negative uh, 3. Therefore, our product is always given by a multiplied by c, which will be equal to our a is 1, then c is negative 3. So this will give us negative uh, 3. Then the sum is usually the value of b, which clearly will be a positive 2. Now we need uh, two numbers when multiplied uh, gives us negative 3, but whenever we add the two numbers, we get a uh, positive 2. So of course the two numbers uh, will be given uh, by the following. So let me create a line here. So the two numbers will be, we check the factors of the product, which is negative 3. So of course 3 and 1. Therefore our two numbers will just be uh, 3 and 1. So we'll have 3 and 1 as our numbers. But we check the signs. Sir. When we multiply, we need a negative 3, but when we add, we get a positive 2. Of course, that means that the negative will be on 1. Such that 3 multiplied by negative 1, you'll get negative 3, which is the product. Then 3 plus negative 1, you'll get positive 2, which is the sum. Therefore, the original equation was uh, x squared uh, plus 2x. Uh, then of course minus 3 is equals to 0. So I'll simply substitute uh, the value of b here. So this will be uh, x squared then plus 
uh, my b will be 3 minus 1 that is i'm picking the factors that i had here then of course x uh, minus 3 being equal to 0. so this will be x squared then uh, 3 multiplied by x i'll get a positive uh, 3x the negative 1 times x i'll get negative 1x then minus 3 being equal to 0. So I'll pick the common factors uh, between the first two terms. Of course, the common factor will be x. So we'll have x into uh, x plus uh, 3. Then I'll pick negative 1 into x plus uh, 3 being equal to 0. So this, I pick this one and uh, this. So I'll have x minus 1 forming my first bracket and uh, x plus 3 uh, forming the second bracket. Of course, this one is equal to uh, 0. So this implies that um, either, so this one means that uh, either uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0, which implies that x will be equal to a uh, positive 1, or it can also imply uh, the following. So or the second bracket, which is x plus 3 is equal to 0. It means that our x can also be equal to a uh, negative 3. Therefore, these are the possible uh, values of x. Now, the question did not ask us to get the values of x. The question wanted us to get uh, the values of y at the turning points. But of course, you cannot get y if you don't have the values of uh, x. So at the turning point, uh, the value of x is 1 and negative uh, 3. But remember, we were given uh, the equation of y. So y was equivalent to a third, uh, a third x uh, cubed then plus uh, x squared, then minus a uh, 3x plus 2. So we'll say that when, uh, when x is equal to 1, a uh, y will be equal to, so we'll have a third into 1 uh, cubed, then of course plus a uh, 1 uh, squared, then minus 3 into 1, then of course plus 2. So this will disintegrate into uh, a third, uh, then of course this will be plus 1, then minus 3, then plus 2. So this will be equal to a third. Of course, this one will give me negative 2, minus 2, then plus 2, which this part will give me 0. So it simply means that y will be equal to uh, a third. Therefore, we can say that the first turning point will be when x is 1, a y is equal to a third. So we are having 1 and a third. Then um, the second turning point will say when uh, x is equal to, the second value of x was uh, negative 3. Uh, remember y was equal to a third uh, x cubed, then plus uh, x squared, then of course minus 3x, then plus a uh, 2. Therefore y will be equal to, I uh, will have a third into, uh, x now is negative uh, 3, of course this will be cubed, then plus uh, negative 3 uh, squared, then minus 3 into negative uh, 3, then of course plus 2. So this will simplify into uh, a third. Negative 3 cubed will give me negative uh, 27. So this is into negative 27. Then uh, negative 3 squared, this will be positive 9. Then this will also give me positive 9, then plus a uh, 2. Of course, 3 into negative uh, 27, I'll get negative 9. So I'll have negative 9 uh, plus 9, then plus 9, then plus a uh, 2. So this 2 will give me 0. So 9 plus uh, 2, of course, I'm going to get a positive 11. Therefore, it means that the second uh, turning point uh, will be given by uh, when x was uh, negative 3, I'm getting my y to be 11. Therefore, this is the first, the second turning point, and this was our first turning point. The question wanted the value of y at the turning point. The values of y are a third and 11 at the turning points. Then we check part C of the question, whereby we are being told that in the space provided, sketch the curve. So to sketch the curve, we need to identify the nature of the turning points and also get at least one of the uh, intercepts. So we'll get the turning, that is the nature of the turning points of the curve. So clearly, to get the nature of the turning point, we need uh, the second derivative. So the first derivative, dy dx, uh, was given by this one here. So it was x squared plus 2x. So this is uh, x squared plus 2x. Then, of course, uh, minus 
3. So this was minus 3. So to get the turning point, we'll get uh, the second derivative, d squared y over dx squared will be equal to, I differentiate this, of course, the 2 will multiply the coefficient, so I'll have 2x to the power of 2 minus 1, then plus, this one means it was power 1, so the 1 will multiply, so I'll have 2 multiplied by 1x to the power of 1 minus 1. Then this one means it was x power 0, so the 0 will multiply, so I'll have negative 3 times 0, x power 0 minus 1. So this will disintegrate into uh, 2x to the power of 1, then of course plus 2x power 0, then this will be a minus a 0. So x power 0 of course is 1, so that means a d squared over dx squared will be given by a 2x then plus a 2, that is our second derivative. So we test uh, the first point uh, or the coordinates uh, that we have, that is the turning point, which was um, 1 and a third. So the first turning point was 1, comma, a third. So clearly the value of x will be 1, the y will be a third. Therefore our d squared y over dx squared will be equal to uh, 2x then plus 2. So we substitute d squared y over d x squared uh, at the point when x is equal to 1 will be equal to uh, 2 into 1 then plus 2. Of course this will be uh, 2 plus 2 which is equal to positive 4. Remember we said that whenever you get a positive uh, value it simply means that you are dealing with a minimum point. Therefore we are going to say that since, uh, since our d squared y, d squared y over dx squared is positive, uh, since that particular value is positive, it simply follows that uh, the turning point, which is 1, uh, then comma a third, this was a minimum point. Since it was positive, it means that this is a minimum, a minimum uh, point. Remember, a synonym for minimum point is simply a minima. This is a minima, or simply a minimum point. Then we check the second uh, turning point, which was uh, negative 3, 11. So we check uh, negative 3, comma 11. So clearly the value of x will be negative 3, the value of y is 11. So the second derivative, d squared y over dx squared, we have already uh, gotten it as a uh, 2x plus 2. So if I substitute a uh, d squared y over dx squared at the point when x is equal to negative 3, will be given by 2 into a negative 3, then of course plus 2. So this will be equal to a negative 6, and then plus 2, which is going to give us negative 4. Therefore, you can see that the value is a negative. Therefore, we're going to say that since, uh, since d squared y over dx squared is negative, since you're getting the value uh, to be negative, which is negative 4, it simply uh, follows that the point negative 3, 11 is a maximum point. So this was a maximum uh, point. It is a maximum point. Or simply put, it is a maxima. It is a maxima. Now that we have the nature of the turning points, then of course we need at least uh, one of the uh, intercepts. And in this case, the y-intercept is easier to get. Uh, so I'll say that at the y-intercept, at the y-intercept, that is the point where the curve is going to cut the y-axis, the x-coordinate must be equal to zero. Therefore, the equation y is equal to uh, a third x uh, cubed, then plus x squared minus 3x, then plus 2, will be given by y is equal to, so this will be a third into the x is zero cubed, then plus zero squared, then minus 3 into zero, then plus 2. Of course, this will give us y being equal to a positive 2. Now that we have everything we need, we can easily uh, sketch our curve. So to sketch our curve, of course, we need to have the uh, axes. So I'm going to have uh, this particular axis here. So based on the points or the coordinates that I'm having, I don't need uh, very large uh, values. So I, I need up to at least a uh, negative 3 on the x. So this is the x-axis. 
uh, then of course this will be our y uh, axis that is y then i'm having uh, the x here so on the y i need up to a maximum of 11 huh? so this is a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so these ones will uh, fit so i'll use a scale of 1 so this is 1 uh, 2 uh, 3 then of course uh, let me use a scale of uh, 2 uh, let me work with 1 uh, so this will be 1 uh, then of course I'll have a uh, 2 here uh, then uh, 4 uh, then this is uh, 6 then this will be 8 uh, this will be a uh, 10 then I'll have a uh, 12 here then uh, on the x-axis I'm going to use a scale of uh, 1 so this will be positive 1 of course this is the negative side uh, negative 1 uh, negative 2 uh, negative 3 those are enough then this is a uh, 1 then I have a uh, 2 so on plotting the coordinates that I'm having let me start with uh, the first turning point which was 1 and a third so this is positive 1 is here so of course if this is a uh, 2 it means that this is 1 uh, so a third is uh, 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 will be somewhere here so 1, 0 0.3, this coordinate will lie here. So this is, uh, the coordinate will be at this particular point. That is 1, uh, 0 0.3. Then of course, it was a minimum point. Uh. So a minimum point means that uh, whenever you plot the curve, uh, this particular point should be the lowest possible point uh, of that particular curve. So the curve will pass there this way. Then um, I'm also having another point, which was the uh, maximum point. So the maximum point was negative 3, 11. So negative 3 is here. Then 11, 11 is uh, in between 10 and uh, 12. So this particular point will be here, negative 3, 11. Then clearly it was a maximum point, uh, meaning that the curve should pass uh, through that particular point such that it is the maximum possible point of the given curve. Then I also had my y-intercept, that is y is equals to 2. So that means on the y-axis, the curve I should pass through this particular uh, point. So my curve, clearly my curve will be uh, this way. So this is my curve. So the key point, whenever you are plotting a curve, the key point is to, to identify the maximum point, which is this particular point. This is the maxima. Uh, you also identify the minimum point, uh, which is this one, this is the minima. Then of course, uh, the intercepts. Uh, this is our, our y-intercept. This is our y-intercept. Therefore, that is our curve. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.